What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Weary2. And if you're watching this video, you are having a problem with streaming on two PCs where you're capturing the game on your gaming PC, sending it through an Elgato capture card onto a streaming PC, and your game is locked at 60 FPS or 60 Hertz. It's a rare, it's a rare problem, but I feel like a lot of people have it, uh, at least for my streamer friends that I've, that I've heard of, okay? So I'm going to fix it for you right now. Now, I can only assume that if you are streaming on two PCs and this is a problem for you, you are using duplicate these displays in your Windows video settings, your display settings. You are using duplicate these displays. So what I'm going to have you do right now is change that to extend these displays. Okay? All right? Extend these displays is what you're going to do. Okay? And then I want you to... Go download Streamlabs OBS or OBS, Open Broadcasting Software, on your gaming PC. And if you don't have that installed already, I'll have links in the description for both, whichever one you prefer to use. I prefer to use OBS because it's less hard on your uh, processor. Uh, and, you know, it, all, all this is doing is capturing the game and sending it to the Elgato so it doesn't have to do all the crazy stuff and the cool stuff that Streamlabs OBS does. Okay? So, once you've downloaded that... You're going to open OBS. This works the exact same with Streamlabs OBS. So, you know, still follow me, right? You're going to open OBS on the gaming PC. You're going to set up your game capture. Set up your desktop capture on different scenes. However you want. Do your thing. It's all up to you. This is all up to you. Okay? Now, the way that you get this, what you're capturing onto the Elgato capture card, I have the uh, preview disabled, which you should do too for performance, is you right-click in the gray area. If the preview's on, it'll it'll be there'll be a lot more, but it'll still still be there. But you're gonna right click in the gray area, full screen projector, display two. That display two is your Elgato capture card. So now what is happening is instead of duplicating your displays where they see everything that you see, you are now sending the footage from OBS onto the Elgato capture card. This not only does this fix your problem, this also allows you to tab out of your game without people seeing your Discord messages, without people seeing your phone number and address in the background while you're live streaming, okay? So this is, this is a win-win for you. You fix the problem that you're locked at 60 FPS, and also you have a little more privacy. They don't see everything that's going on. And you can, you know, you can still change scenes without changing scenes on the stream. You'll find ways to use it and, and in the ways that it benefits you. It's great. I really hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, comment below. I will respond as fast as I can. You know, I have, I had a lot, I've run into a lot of problems in my streaming endeavor. Okay. Uh, dual PC. I know just about everything there is to know. Uh, so if you have questions, comment, and if you have a comment that's common enough or that's liked enough or, you know, responded to enough, I might make a video on it so I can specifically help people to have that problem. Have a beautiful night, beautiful day, whatever time it is, focus on your mental health, stay happy as much as you can. You know what I'm saying? It, it has to rain before a rainbow. You feel me? Mwah, I love you. Thank you.